law enforcement agencies in southern Wisconsin are training for the worst case scenario. And the possibility of an active shooter at a middle school. What to do, how to stop it. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter got a behind the scenes look at that training and he joins us now with what life saving skills officers are learning. Adam. Well, Eric and Charlotte, the sergeant that I talked to today says this is the question that's on the top of every police chief and sheriff's mind around the country. And he says, while well, no amount of training can prevent something like this from happening fully, the messages it's teaching could help save a life. Before students can return to Marshall Middle School in Janesville, we can simulate significant bleeds. Police are using it for something else. We are focusing on rapid response or active shooter training. Today's training all about being prepared if a mass shooting were to take place in this building. And while police want to keep their tactics as secret as possible, hard plastic, they were able to give us an inside look at some of that training earlier today. We use role players um, a lot and then we also use a, a simulated um, gunfire within the building to kind of amp up or give the officers some type of auditory uh, stimulus. Sergeant Josh Norm of the Janesville Police Department says this training could not have come at a better time. As for the last two weeks, he, his department, and the rest of the nation have watched as mass shootings in California, Texas, and Ohio have killed dozens of innocent people. For me personally, it's a reminder to get back to focusing on our training, reinforcing um, our principles. Today, the team worked to simulate clearing classrooms. Officer is going to provide me cover uh, because I'm going to be focusing on the leg. Providing immediate aid to wounded victims and communicating with one another as if this school were under threat. We're trying to make this almost muscle memory for the officers. Sergeant Norm says, well, truly preventing these shootings will take societal change. Size is very comparable. He and his department want people to know they're doing everything they can. You know, it's just the unfortunate reality that we all live in in today's society. Um, it's happening all over um, the country. Fortunately, we've been uh, lucky to this point that it hasn't happened, but we have to prepare for when it does happen here. And it's not just Janesville police that are taking part in this training either. Beloit town of Beloit, Milton, the Rock County Sheriff's Office, and others are all participating both today and tomorrow. Sergeant Norm says for these guys, it's just about mentally as taxing as learning physically what you need to be doing while responding in a situation like this. Adam Duxer on our Rock County Bureau at the Janesville Gazette. Adam, thank you.